What is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Jokey Johnson before, and today I will be continuing to talk about Black Ops 3. Now, our topic of today is character customization. Will it return back into Black Ops 3? In my opinion, it should be coming back because Call of Duty Ghost introduced this new feature, right? Where you can customize your character, you can customize your headgear, your armor layout, and you can be a male or a female. That was a cool introduction into this new feature, right? And then Call of Duty Advanced Warfare carried it over, and now it allows us to customize even further into our character. Yes, we can still have uh, male and female things, and now they allowed us to actually customize our shoes, pants, shirts, uh, the armor layout, and the exosuit and the helmet. More features introduced into this customization thing. So that was super cool by Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, you know, they actually took it a step further. So um, now up, up next is Black Ops 3. What will they do with this feature? Well, they should really upgrade it because they should not just carry it over and just pretend that it's new or something because if they just make it seem like it's new and it still looks like Advanced Warfare, fuck no man, that's nothing new, it's still the same shit, it's just copied and paste. So in order for them to upgrade this feature, they have to introduce the following things that I'm about to mention to you guys. Um, this should really reintroduce the face paint. Remember guys, back in Black Ops 1, you were able to have face paint on your character. You used I, I used to run around with a Braveheart face paint, that was super funny. Also another thing was the, the skull face paint, that was super cool, you know, the fucking Punisher skull on your face, just paint it on your face, like that was just insane. I was like, yeah, you know, this is a cool feature introduced into Black Ops 1, we never seen it before, we never allowed, we were never allowed to customize our characters before, and seeing the face paint thing in Black Ops 1 allowed us, like, to be excited over this game, and, you know, made the game look a little bit cooler, because it allowed us a little bit more freedom, freedom into the game, so, um, that was super cool, so, um, bring face paint back, uh, another thing they should bring into the game will be, um, equipment coloring, like, allow us to change our helmet color freely, uh, also, our armor color allowed us to change it, and uh, you know, just just equipment color allows us to change the color of the equipment. That will be a cool feature. That would actually be a step forward because now it's, it's going to give us a little bit more freedom into uh, like uh, customizing our, our, our equipment color, color. And then if we're, we're in, a, in a clan and shit, uh, we should be able to be like all green or all blues or all reds. Like, like that will be super freaking cool. So. Um, Allowing us to change our equipment color will be a step forward. Another thing that should really add into the game will be uh, your hair. Like, allow us to change our hair, like from long hair, short hair, spike hair, um, you know, crazy ass hair, dreadlocks, you know, allow us to have more freedom into our character to make it look our, like ourselves, you know. That will be super cool. Uh, you know, hair options. Also, beard. You know, that allows us to have a long ass beard, a long bushy ass beard like we were playing in fucking skyrim like that, that would be fucking insane fucking big ass beard with long ass hair fuck man i will be looking like the guy from uh like gandalf and shit you know that's how my character's gonna fucking look i'll make my my hair white that's another thing allows to change our hair color you see there's still more to be added into this feature hair color uh accessories like watches um glasses uh, backwards cap, you know, allow us to have more modern clothing also, that would be cool, you know, allow us to have a coat, allow us to have a badass sweater, a hoodie, you know, make us have more freedom into this option. So that's the only way they can upgrade this option from now on, because they just cannot uh, introduce the same feature again and have the same options again with nothing new. Like, that's that's the same shit. You just copied and paste from Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. That's not cool, you know, Treyarch. That's not that's lazy. That's fucking lazy. You're working with next gen here and you had three years to work with this shit. So anyways, like I said, face paint, hairstyles, hair color, equipment color, uh what did, what is another thing that I mentioned? Accessories, you know, all these options will be super cool in this feature. So that I said, that's all I want to talk about, you know, character character customization. Hopefully they do come back with it, but big time. Add more to it, Treyarch. I don't want you guys to be lazy. Add more to it. So that is it. Subscribe for more. You guys want to hear more Black Ops 3 news, Black Ops 3 rumors, and more Black Ops 3 talk. See you guys later. Subscribe for more.